Welcome back to another video guys. Um, I had one of the orders, uh, one, two of those motors I mentioned in the previous video and uh, they are 20,000 RPM but uh, by the time I got out there it was kind of late and I was only able to put one of them in and this is what it was before the motor so imagine I replace this motor with one of those fast ones using both strings I wasn't able to see much of a difference because first I did not run this one and then I ran both of them there's still something wrong um, okay here's the thing so I have this uh, what is what do I call this uh, yeah top cover whatever so it kind of conic in shape it uh, kind of when you put the leaves they uh, slide in and I have this made out of PD PVC kind of hides the center of the motor so when the leaves fall they fall around it of course it's a solid object and they they fall from here to here get chopped but the problem is I don't think the string is that long so they're either sliding from this side because this is causing some turbulence in there when it turns and they're just like Psh. so because it wasn't I mean it was better than just having 6000 rpm to 6000 rpm motors but having 20,000 it's not it wasn't really too much of a difference so I can still use these fast motors they're decent motors I, I uh, um, what is this yeah it's in here anyway so um, yeah I, I like this motor these motors a lot uh, looks pretty decent and and it runs <laughs> very fast so it has a fan in there I don't think I'll I won't run it for too long so I'll probably close them so dust doesn't get in there it's brushless I mean brushed so you don't want dust and debris get into the between the brush and the contacts so yeah I mean it, it runs pretty good I am going back to this so my plan is to first uh, I'll install although I made this transfer and I'll just make it disappear okay so without the buckets around it comes in and goes around and gets chopped so first thing I'm gonna try is put a second I already machined this uh, but I was just not putting them in there so I'll put a secondary string for each motor and of course both of them will be 20,000 RPM well at load I don't know but yeah it will be pretty decent RPM so that's the first thing and the second thing I'm gonna do I gotta put the bucket for that to prevent the leaves to come in and just slide between the bucket and the string the gap because you gotta have a gap otherwise these buckets are gonna be cut off you know along you know, over time that string will make a groove in there and then next thing you know the bucket is cut in this <laughs> along the string so guides it's kind of uh, uh, it's right before and this the the um, the strings similar here so let's take the buckets off as you can see um, strings will go under it so the leaves will not have any chance to uh, go around the strings they will have to be chopped in that whatever chop zone and uh, and there's a slight curvature in here too so if the leaves fall off they just come in there so they don't accumulate in here 
So that's the plan at making these. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, for the top, the latest version of this, I use the <coughs> bucket's uh, lid, cut the inside of it, and riveted the, uh, the sheet metal, the very thin, thin gauge uh, sheet metal, and it's, it's solid. But these, I can probably do the same way, but I don't know. Um, I'll first try these probably tomorrow evening uh, to use the double strings. Um, well, with the 20,000 RPM and 6,000 RPM, because changing both of the motors, I don't think I can, if I get it, if I have time, I may be able to, but I doubt it. So, if that may have to wait for the weekend, but I was able to drill, uh, um, these are, uh, these old motors, they are 40 millimeters uh, spacing between these. So the new motors, they're smaller in size. They have 29 millimeters. It's 775 size motor. I think it's pretty standard. So what it is is um, I make two holes in here and then mount that motor because this is on top. It's when when I uh, when I let's say this this and this is one unit so when I open well let's get rid of these guys when I open the top bucket this is what it looks like and it's very simple just to get in here and it's the right waist high I don't have to flip this upside down and drill horizontally so this was easier uh, and there, I have covers in here, wooden covers. Uh, uh, there's a uh, old thread going through two of those covers, and I got bolts, kind of squeeze them uh, against the frame here to keep this. And I had silicone in here, but I mean it's all gone now. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll redo all that part, but I just need to. Uh, and I want to dedicate this thing to be a string trimmer. So, I will not do the knives anymore unless, because I would have to take the motors back out and, yeah. Well, let's see how it goes. If, if it works, I will, uh, um, I will uh, do it that way, you know, interchangeable somehow. Easy to remove this like a cartridge, you just take this out and put a new one in, put a couple of screws or something. You have a new, you know, whole different setup. But um, right now, I'm gonna focus on um, let's put these back on the roof. Those <coughs> I'm gonna um, take the buckets out, just focus on first trying to double string with the 20,000 RPM and 6,000 RPM motors and then I will change this one and continue using double strings for with uh, two 20,000 RPM and see if that makes any difference and then I will try the guides at that point I would be I would come to a conclusion hopefully when I do that I will decide whether to make some kind of uh, you know old motors it's frame with the old motors frame with the new motors old motors will, will are slower 20 000, uh, 6 thousand rpm they're safer with the heavier knives and stuff and of course I can still use uh, um, strings if I want to because uh, the ends of these are eight millimeters right-handed thread and 
the motor is actually five millimeters, but I I made a uh, aluminum piece that has five millimeter hole, which slips onto the new motors and um, lock tight it in there. And outside is an eight millimeter thread, so it's holding pretty well. So anyway, so that's the update. Um, I will have more hopefully tomorrow because it's easy to just slip these on as it is right now 20,000 rpm and 6,000 rpm motors and uh, see if having double amount of strings it should do better but at the same time if it's uh, they may kind of tangle because they can reach each other they shouldn't be oh, what we'll see anyway I am getting very sleepy <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for your interest, especially Jonathan. He's been uh, involved in uh, uh, writing some comments about this thing, and I would definitely recommend those new motors. Uh, this one, uh, it's uh, it's solid motor and it's cheap. It's not expensive. Of course, the downside is it's brushed. I mean. And it needs to breathe, kind of, because I think you know, it may not need to breathe if you don't use it extensive amount of time. But they are of good quality. I I uh, I seen pretty crappy motors. These are good. You know, it's not <laughs> robotics grade, of course, but it is. A, you know, it is what it is, and and it's it's running really smooth, and it has. Uh, ball bearings pretty decent ball bearings there's no slap nothing they don't sound awfully loud but I mean 20,000 rpm there will be some some noise especially when there's a string on it so yeah it sounds like a turbine not that bad but I mean it's uh, it's it's getting actually um, amplified with the uh, buckets being in there and you know all that stuff but it sounds much safer and much, <laughs> um, you know, easier going than the blades. And I don't feel that bad using them. So, um, so that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, um, we'll see the result together. Talk to you later. Take care.